The Vorash system was the property of the former Bullet dictatorship. After a series of hard fought rebellions, the dictatorship has now crumbled. Left this sector in ruin and decay as the new freehold of systems attempt the arduous journey of growth and rebuilding. Records secretly recovered at great cost from the former military archives suggest that hidden somewhere within the system are forgotten research places with prototype technology that could speed up progress in the freehold. Due to the overwhelming setbacks from rebel forces, Grand Leader for Life, Axelius I, has decided to enact the Technophage Protocol. You see red, that's a sign of danger. I also have a sudden urge to sing Oh, we are the valiant infantry. There might be monsters. Oh. Oh. What the? There's some kind of cryopod down there. That says Steve. I don't know anyone called Steve. It looks like they were building something. Wait, Capac. This is a small grid jump drive. What, what are we going to do with it? Put it on a truck? Yes. Launch the truck into orbit? Yes. Uh, so I'll drive the Dongoose, you drive the rover buggy thing. I found a thing. What'd you find? What the? This looks weird. Ooh. What are you doing? What? Just looking to see what was in it. Uh, this thing's full of technophage nanoclusters. Uh, all right, off to Sand River we go. It is a fairly. This is a large settlement. Is it really dark in here? Or is it just me? It, it is super dark. I am struggling to see. Oh, that's a good thing. It means they'll struggle to see us. Oh, six medical components. Oh, lights. Oh no. Wait. How did they... How asleep is that person? One of us goes and gets the vehicle. One of us stays here ready to, to do the loading. And we drive the vehicle here. Like, these doors are big. We could drive right in here and load it up. Uh, looks like he's working, working on... Yeah. He's focused. A buggy. Ow! Oh, well, that's bad. Um, do we go for the thing? Yeah, go for the thing. Go for the vehicle. Ow! Ow! Oh. No, not main cockpit. Get in. All right, I'm driving. All right, I'm in. Go, 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 go. Oh. Got five of them. You keep right. them coming. Keep them busy. Keep them busy. Keep them busy. Ow! Alright, get in, get in, get in, get in! What? Get in! We gotta go! Drive, drive, drive! Drive, drive, drive! Drive him down! <laughs> if you have to, just drive, drive! Oh. This thing is slow! <laughs> oh, you got him! I have an idea. It's gonna be crazy, but I think it could work. What Let's are we doing? Blow up their hydrogen tank. Oh dear. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting! Keep shooting. They're taking fire. Yep, yep. That's fine. Just keep shooting it. Okay, maybe shoot the person. <laughs> yeah! Oh, there it goes. All right. Run Let's away. go. Uh, that convoy is rapidly approaching. I know. Come back. You're gonna need to hop out. And, uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it quicker. Thrusters on. Top thruster off. Dampeners are on. We're moving. We're moving. I really hope they don't have any surface-to-air stuff. Honest John inbound. Oh dear. The plot thickens. There's a ship in here. So remember how our jump drive was meant to had a merge block on the bottom of it when we found it in that other research facility? Oh yeah. And remember how the Steve has one as well? I think that's where those go. See another ship down and to the left. Oh. Oh, Steve's doing a recognition code thing. The guns aren't shooting us. Well, yes, yes they, they are! are. had the survival kit to take all those bullets. Look at this, this engine isn't even attached. I don't have any components on me, we might have to find some bits. Yeah, so I kind of have two thoughts on that. We can either try and scrap bits from this station and repair 
while we're here, or we could go grab those jump drives that we've found around the station, attach them to the ship, go back to the dust storm and the dust ball, and repair there. If you want to work on getting these jump drives, I can work on patching this ship up a bit. Uh, we're also going to have to figure out how we're going to stick, like where we're going to stick the jump drive and whatnot. There's a socket for it. Yeah, but we found two of them, haven't we? Uh, just glue one on the back and we'll sort it out when we get back to base. So what you're saying is it's future us problem. Yep. I'm not even sure this fits in. Because remember we had to rearrange the whole thing? I know yeah, the sockets are there, but I think they... I don't think they designed the sockets right. So I think the socket's too small. Ow. What is ow? Ran into a gun. Seems like a mistake. Uh, bruised my ego. There we go. <laughs> you're going to do this the hard way, aren't you? Rather than uh, detaching and reconnecting. I mean, hardness is relative. It's true. That's the most scale. Yay! Alright. Uh, uh. Oh, now Reggie's doing something else. Uh. So what do we have if I look at the jump drive? Error has occurred recalculating. What? Wait, how long till those jump drives recharge? Another two minutes. Ah, that'd be why. The range has not adjusted yet. It's still saying a thousand Ks. Alright, um, I'm reconnected. Alright, we should probably drop the connector on this a bit. Because it's a bit too low. <laughs> I love that you brought the package. Uh, Ooh, free ammo munitions. Oh, cap back! What? Why did you do this to me? What? Why did you fill up the connector I'm trying to grind off? Because. Because you thought it'd be funny? That was part of the reason, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go straight to our asteroid base? Our asteroid hidey hole that's over a thousand kilometers away? Sure. Here we go. What? Obstacle detected? Yeah, we should probably clear this station. Alright, jumping. Almost all the way there. Did we jump? Uh, well, the station's gone. Yep. We are now 369 kilometers from our destination. So how many more jumps is that? One. <laughs> Every time I come around to our game of Connect 4, I'm just like... A mess. Neither of us kept our characters the same way either. Yeah, the reactor can't quite cope with the three jump drives. So we are maxing our power output at the moment. What's the time on the jump drive? The time on the jump drive is two minutes remaining. We have 1.2. No. 1.3 megawatt hours of the required 1.5 to initiate a jump. Aha. Uh -huh. Now 1.32. Now I want your snacks. They're very crunchy. Mm, we have 17, 16, 14, 12, 11, 7, Six, four, two, one. All right, jumping. Uh, we should be here. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh wait, there's a big rock. Oh, there is a big rock. And a cowardly panther. There is? Yeah. Why are you stuffing your face with everything? If we're gonna be in a fight, I wanna be well energized. I don't know. I feel like every time you eat, you wanna go to sleep. Or is that just because you always wanna go to sleep? That is also true. And you're always eating. So the two correlate quite closely. No, that's... Correlation does not equal causation. In this case, the causation is the correlation. No, this is like that website that 
shows the number of traffic accidents in Sweden correlates with the number of cheesecake purchases in Uganda. No! This is saying that because there's a correlation between you always doing something and you always doing something else, that's caused me to believe that they were causally linked even though they're just correlated. I think you're overthinking it. <laughs> I, I won't deny that. I was having some fun with the overthinking though. Hooray! We're back! Integrations at 60%. Where to oh. next? Looks like everything's still here. Like, was there anything we needed? Where were we going? We were going to that station, but we've collected everything from that station. I don't know what we're doing next. I guess we gotta return these jump drives to the appropriate authorities. Is that the jerks who dumped us here? I guess so. Hmm. Were they appropriate? I don't know how appropriate they were. Did they appropriate authority? It's possible. Alright, uh... I guess we want to hook up, charge up the jump drive and see how far we can jump with the whole lot. Yeah. Uh, the jump drives are fully charged. So we should have an idea in a moment. Well, yeah, but hey, no, I'm was... seeing a lot of sparks over there. Sparks are fine. It's only explosions you have to worry about. Sparks cause explosions. They can, yes. They don't always. Alright, we're good. Right, launching. Uh. The, um, grinder ship is fighting against you. Oh. Do you have a small problem, though? Uh, there's a fly in your suit. I'd consider that a largest problem, actually. So where did the fly come from? How did it get here? And what do I do with it next? Uh, all seem rather serious concerns with a fly in your space suit when we haven't been on a planet in what feels like weeks. Ah, you want to go back down to the planet. Got it. Setting a heading. thought you didn't want explosions. You changed your mind on that. Well, I mean, I guess you wanted to fix up your new battleship. Yeah. I guess something might happen once Steve has finished doing his integrations. Um, yeah. I guess so. Do we just wait for that? Yeah. Alright, so what is what is your plan with all this nonsense? Which nonsense? This carcass you've got dangling off our... <laughs> uh, I was going to steal a bunch of its thrusters and up, up thrust my chip. Um, can't say that on YouTube. I just thought it'd be good to use for that. But the, the if you recall, the only reason I captured this was to get the last pieces for our reactor. Ah. That was actually the original reason. It wasn't anything to do with upgrading my dust storm. Uh, but I think I might gut the dust storm. What? Really? Yeah. Well, so that I can fix its conveyor system to get access to more points to put thrusters on. That and Let's it see. kind of got gutted by being shot a lot. Hey, get back here. Gotcha. Um, you, you could just bring us to a halt. And those things will become less of a problem. Yeah, but then we'll get blown up. What's to say travelling at this speed we won't just run into something? Well, I can see where we're going. You can see where we're going, so do. I had the thing stuck in my teeth. Hmm. Was it your tongue? I'm just trying to work out where I've got conveyors running to and from, and where I can connect things to and from. Because I've... With the number of mergers and repairs and stuff this thing's had, it's all become a real mess. Um, can we come to a halt, and can I get you to help me with a few things? I guess. Engines, full stop. I'm surprised you didn't just say engines, period, because that feels like a thing you'd say. Engines, terminal punctuation. There we go. Alright, what do you want? Uh, so first up, can you bring the, uh... Can you bring the, the ship that's used to do the things with the ship? The tug. Ah, that first sentence did not make any sense. <laughs> I know. 
My brain well, just kind or, of... Or it made too much sense. It described every ship. <laughs> I feel like I'm cutting out the soul of the ship, but I feel like I've got to do it. Then do warships have souls? Who knows? They have the captured souls of their enemies. I suppose so. And the souls of the boots of their occupants. So we can put a couple more thrusters on the top, a couple more thrusters on the side, and then two more turrets on top, and two turrets on each side. Uh, giving me six turrets mounted that way, and a seventh underneath. So I will have a favoured orientation, but I think that's kind of the way I fly. I uh, just need to think about where I'm going to move those gyros from the other ship to, because I, I think having overpowered gyros on a warship is a little bit helpful. Or at least redundancy is helpful. This is a massive rework. <laughs> I'm glad we weren't trying to do something like this when we weren't in space. So it's been a substantial thrust upgrade. Uh, there's a wrecker wyvern eight kilometers out. Okay. And a morose hawk. The wreckers were the brutal ones. Yeah, um, I don't know that you're really fighting fit at the moment. No, I'm not. I'm not. But we are jump ready because the only blocks that we've got loose are cargo containers. Yeah? That's uh, right, isn't it? Do you want to make sure there's nothing in those cargo containers? Sure. Uh, don't do those just yet. No. I just built that connector. Oh. I was wondering why it was blue. <laughs> That's so I can hook up and siphon the gas out of it with the tug. Next time I need to refuel. Ah. There are also a few components in here, nothing particularly valuable. There's about 15, 20,000 ice too. Ugh. What? I thought I saw an evil mosquito peering at me through the smoke. Are you about to call me an evil mosquito? Uh, it's a rotating light. Oh. It's got evil red eyes. Why do we have a red eyed thing? It was on this wreck. Oh. This looks so weird with you having stripped it of everything. I prefer the word skeletonized. Scrap some more of this armor. Whoa! What the? What's wrong? Uh. Thing go boom. What went boom? I think it was the this hydrogen tank. Did you just try and grind it with the re, re, like release thing? No, I was just grinding like an armor block. Like I wasn't even looking at it. It exploded like off to my left. Was there any ammo around that you might have accidentally ground or an explosive or something? Don't think so. Jeez. All right, I guess we should quickly grind down the rest of it then before it drifts away. Um, I mean, I could stabilize it with the tug um, yeah maybe you could possibly even bring it back if we move this stuff away from the connector from the landing gear all right i'm just gonna check if this thing's airtight for once it is haha -ha! my warship is airtight all right the tug is in the hangar okay we are jump ready Probably got two more jumps and then we're there. Do you want to get in the seat? I am seated. <laughs> Away we go. Oh. Oh. Jump point exodus. Is that showing up in your GPS list? No. Um, can you read off those coordinates for me? Negative 104711244. Eight eight five four three three seven five one two eight six five. Spatial targeting target location confirmed. GPS jump point. Okay, I have put that on mine. It is ten thousand kilometers away from us. So how many jumps is that? With everything, like fourteen. But if we stripped down and took, say, the shuttle and the dust storm, that might 
subs that would substantially reduce it, or if even if we took the dust ball storm and the shuttle rather than bringing the whole all the other stuff as well. I don't think there's much left. Well, I meant the solar panel section. What? Can't just abandon it. That was its design. It was designed to be able to be detached and then we can retrieve it at a later stage if we need to. Yeah, so we could go down to a planet or something. Well, you better find some way to entertain me during these trips then, because it's going to be a long, long wait. Well, let's All those finish jumps. salvaging this stuff and get your ship fixed up and then we'll see what our jump range is. Alrighty, the dust storm uh, is ready to fly. There's a glum pigeon out there looking at me funny. Um... You should set all of your hydrogen tanks on it to fill up. Yes. So that it drains some of these external tanks so I can get rid of them. Uh, I'll drain some of the other tanks as well, though. Yeah, that's right. we got the big tank in the back. Oh, I see you've done the interior as well. Oh, yeah. What do you think? It's a bit cramped, but it seems serviceable. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a warship. I figured I should have at least one seat for you. What? Where? There's a seat here. Oh, right. It's arguably also a breakfast nook, but it is potentially a valid seat for you to go in. We could take the shuttle and your ship. Inventory. Full. That's what I was suggesting. And you went, no, I don't want to take, leave everything behind. Well, yeah, because I'm worried you're going to ditch it all. Full. Oh, you figure if we leave the dust ball that I won't leave it all behind. Mm, I don't even know if that's enough. <laughs> we can just travel with everything for now and we'll see. Uh, I would like to travel a bit faster. Well, we, we got rid of all that stuff, so let's see how far we can jump. Alright. It was like 860 or something before. Uh, it's now 880. It's a whole 20 kilometers. What, like... 12 trips. Yep. Alright, you ready? And... Oop. There you go. Two, clay, two Ks out from the science station. Come back. You are rotating the wrong way. What? Science station? I thought yeah, we were going we would... to the exodus point. No, we were jumping to the science station first. Uh, well, we? science station's up there. Uh, yeah, I guess we could get some more salvages. Or we can choose to leave some stuff behind if there's stuff that we don't want. Do we see any more gyros on that station? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to try and control it from the uh, dust storm? Yeah, that's right. Because the dust storm now has a has four gyros. All right, we're here. Capo, we just got to check if any of these wrecks have any grids, or if the station has any grids we can steal to kind of prop up my heavy armor. Grids. Let me just fix up this little module. Yep. Yeah, no worries. I'll just do what I can do. <laughs> it looked kind of cool seeing this little orange guy grinding away at this ship at a distance. Because I could pick you out so easily against everything else. Uh, well, there's much left in this thing. Ooh! Oh! 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 What? <laughs> oh yes. What are you giggling uh, about? You'll see. You'll see. You will see. Uh, what have you found over here? I found something cool. And I hope this base has something I can use with it. Because I can't um, remember. How did he get inside here? There we go. Um... I don't see anything. This is the control chair. Yep. Yep, that's all there is. Some lockers. Uh, Bathroom. I think Splitsy's losing his marbles. I'm not. It's got steel plates in it. Uh -huh. You just inside the door, Kabak? No, I'm in one of the rooms. Okay. Uh, I can only carry four. Of the medical components? Yeah. Yeah. Whoop. 
Well, that's just rude. <laughs> Check it out. Where did you steal that from? That's what I found. <laughs> but do you know how good a friend I am? Uh, uh, you almost blew me up with a rocket. <laughs> well, aside from that, You're let me the let worst me show you. Kind of friend. Let me show By you. Definition. No, 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 no. Where'd you go? I'm in the ship. Come here. I need a construction component. This is. Get out of the. Get out of the. Look at me. Don't just go waving around that thing inside the ship. There you go. Alright, I'm stowing this safely in the weapons cupboard. I was giving that to you. Well, if I don't trust you to wave it around inside, I definitely don't trust me to do it. Uh, there's also eight rockets for it. Eight? Eight. Ooh. Yeah. See? That's how good a friend I am. Hmm. I had my fun, and now I'm letting you have plenty of it. It seems suspicious. I, there, there's no... I just... I know how much you enjoy things like that, so I thought I'd let you have it. Uh, <laughs> I get why you'd be suspicious at me being nice, though. I do understand why. There you go. That's why we could finish. Yeah. Nice. Um, well, shall we do our jump? Our next jump? Oh, wait. Uh, uh, hang on. One sec. Let me just do one thing. All right. Let's have a look through this cargo and see what we can dump. Oh, wow. We've got quite a few med kits. It might be worth carrying them. And also, Kabak, you can put med kits on your hotbar. Uh, is that so? Yeah. If you press G and then search for med kit, you can put it on your hotbar. You can't put it on your hotbar, like, unless you do the search for med. Exodus. Target aligned. Jumping 863.71 kilometers. Hope we don't leave anything behind. Mm. Everything still looks attached. Yeah, looks okay. So we gotta do like 10 more jumps. Yeah. Unless we start, unless we reach a point where we decide to leave something behind, like one of these asteroids near us. Because then we can substantially reduce the number of jumps required. Well, I think we could potentially leave the, uh, the satellite section behind. Yeah. And um, just... Yeah. What? We'll have we... to remove the shuttle and attach it yeah. somewhere. That's right, Dick. I'm sure we can fit it on this attachment point on the side here, where we used to attach the dust storm. Well, shall we see there's an asteroid to our starboard at about, well, it's actually pretty much level at about four o'clock, five o'clock. It looks like it's got a separate fragment. We might be able to nestle it in there and then move the shuttle and yeah, that'll substantially reduce our load. I could also try and drag a lot of stuff into the satellite section. A lot of our cargo to lighten our load more. It'll minimize our repair capability, but if I I think we're probably carrying more stuff than we really need. Yeah. Note for self, do not turn on jetpack when catapack is accelerating with a large thruster. I'm not going that fast. There was more the rapid acceleration that I wasn't prepared for, so I just turned on my jetpack and just went bang <laughs> into the back wall. Didn't hurt me, but it was surprising. I reckon that looks pretty good, Kapak. Okie dokie. It's reasonably nestled in, but not so much that the solar panels will get no sun. Uh, do you want to move the shuttle uh, to its new attachment point first? Um, no, I need your help because we... Oh wait, we're, we're bringing you a little fighter, aren't we? Yeah, may as well. Might come in handy. Yep. Alright. Press the bouton. Oh. That hasn't worked. No. What is going on? Uh, have you turned off... Have you... You haven't unlocked the connectors. Oh. Yep, that'll do it. I forgot that it was a double connection. Mm. There you go. There we go. I just heard something that sounded like a thunk. Yeah, me too. 
It's probably it's normal. Hmm. Alright, let's and see how far, how much we've added. using a lot distance. of power. The vents are way open. Yeah, it's the jump drives. Ah. Uh. Uh, fully recharged in a second. So we've just gained an extra 300 kilometers per jump. Okay. So how far is the jump? 11.50 now. Okay, so eight jumps. Uh, slash GPS satellite section. Yeah, something's something's clanging. Whoa! Uh, what was that? That was a part of the shuttle exploding. Why? I think your little anything. fight has turned itself on. Yep, we've turned its thrusters off. I think everything will be happy now. Hmm. Hmm? I'm a lot slower now. <laughs> <laughs> Without the big thruster, yeah. Alright. Realigned to target. Guess I can make a GPS. Satellite of love. Alright, you ready? Uh, yep. And jumping. It's so weird sitting in a different ship and then seeing the jump drive activate from that other one. That's... It did the jump drive around the shuttle. I thought yeah, it did the... it around the whole connected grid. No, it's just around the grid with the jump drives. Hmm. It's weird, isn't it? It is. Right, Still. How, how long have we got to wait for this thing to recharge? Uh, it's generally seven minutes per recharge. Seven minutes? Yeah, that's why I wanted to get us on the way. Seven minutes? I well, guess I'll huff on the med bay. I, I don't I don't know what we can do to entertain ourselves in the time between the jumps. I could paint things. You need some paint. You could have yeah, some paint. I suppose I could work on painting this. I'm especially given the random bits of blue you added. Those are the best bits. In fact, I might keep the blue, but not where you did it. It's a little ugly, I guess, but it worked. What did you do? Uh, just my interface at the back here. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, it almost... It's actually... Because of the rounded shape of it, it's its almost like the... Um, yes. Uh, Agreed. What's the name of Boba Fett's ship? What? The one Disney's not allowed to say. What? McClunky? What? <laughs> no, that's what Greedo's not allowed to say. <laughs> Damn mystery damages. Yeah, I know, right? It feels like it's just getting reset every time we jump. That's, no, this damage is in different parts, though. No. Oh. Are we damaging ourselves each time we jump? Don't know how we could have been damaged there from anything that... What? Well, maybe maybe that's the experimental jump drive that's just, it's not very safe. Well, that doesn't bode well. No, because we have to use it a lot. <laughs> It's concerning. I don't want to do a jump and find that I'm missing a hand. Or worse, it takes out a part of the fridge. Fridge? We have a fridge? Why didn't you tell me we have a fridge? Hmm, I probably shouldn't have said anything. That's my secret fridge. You stay out of it. Check. So you're sticking with Battleship Grey apart from the pink racing stripe? Well, the pink thrusters kind of forced my hand on that one. Like when, when you got thrusters that thrust with pink flame for, I don't know, I don't understand the physics behind that. Um, we kind of. Yeah, we need some kind of spectroscopy to see what's going on there. Yeah. It's got to be some pretty hazardous chemicals it's blasting out to make that kind of color. Well, maybe, but I'm, I imagine like pink fireworks are pink for whatever the reason that that yep. stuff's pink. Every colour of fire that isn't normal colour is some kind of deadly poison. <laughs> Probably. I know, I have investigated thoroughly. We're not allowed to have cool fire because they've all got to be toxic. Is that, um... Is that what happened to some of your earlier clones? Probably. What the... Uh... That's not yeah, we do. right. What's not right? 
One of these veins is broken. Veins? What veins? Come over here. Where is over here? Next to this vent. Yeah. What about it? The, all of the veins are closed except for the one on the left. Can't you you're, see this? You're really lucky we don't fly with a psychiatrist. Hey, they'd I have know a lot of questions I'm for seeing. you. Clearly, your your visual acuity is deficient. Uh huh. Which of the two is most likely of these two potentials? What? Did mm -hmm. I need a therapist or you need an optometrist? I'm gonna go for optometrist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the preferable one. Let's be honest. Don't you pull out a gun on me? I'm just making sure it's properly loaded. Uh huh. All right, let's jump. Ooh, there's a strong unknown signal only 6,500 kilometers away. Oh. Uh, I wonder if we'll get there in the next five minutes. Eight rockets well, should be enough, right? For you? Stupid turret. Do you think I'm going to need rockets? Well, they're hand rockets. There's need and then there's want, I suppose. I thought we were driving towards a big gold portal. Don't we just, like, fly through? I'm sure we'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Some cataclysm causes the universe to stop you from ever being able to say that again? Well, that doesn't seem likely. <laughs> it doesn't seem likely, but w I imagine that would be pretty bad from your point of view. If you could no longer say what's the worst that could happen. Yeah, I'll come up with a suitable replacement phrase soon enough. <clears throat> Ow. Ow. I almost killed myself on my turret. Ow. Well, don't do that. Thank you. For that helpful think advice. Of, think of all the paperwork I'll have to fill out. Oh, I don't have a... Oh, I don't even have a survival kit over here. Occupational right. health and safety. Get in a seat, Gamak. Get in quick, a quick. seat. You in a seat? You better hope so. <laughs> Uh, what? Did we not get oh, any closer? We... Yeah, I don't feel like we travelled very far. No, we haven't. It didn't jump. We haven't turned into a station again, have we? That's better. Yeah, <laughs> that's more like it. There we go. Very industrial. Yeah! Sorry. Picked the wrong one to begin with. You electrocuted me. <laughs> sure I did. Wah! What the heck was that? What was what? Um... I saw some really bright orange light for a second. Oh, Is that what happens before me. you die? What? <laughs> a bright orange light. Well, we should be ready for another jump. I think so. It's really strange. Just a couple more of those and we're there. Now, I am aware that we have four ships and two people. Yeah. At what point do we park the dust ball to make these jumps longer? I mean, you're right, there isn't anyone to fly it. Hmm. And if we jump in and there's enemies a boot, you're going to have to separate and defend. And then I'm going to have to try to keep the shuttle protected from incoming fire. Yep. So are we ditching the fighter? Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> Do you know what I'm annoyed about? Uh, raccoons. No. Always eating the trash? No, I'm not in the slightest bit annoyed about raccoons. No. I'm annoyed that I didn't get the gravity components from the base before we left to build the gravity generator inside my ship. Oh yeah, you probably should have done that. Yeah, yeah, I probably should have. You want to go back? <laughs> no. Yes! <laughs> yes. We have just enough um, gravity components to... I mean, just enough silver to make the gravity components for my grav gen. I see. Aha. I'm getting rid of some of our 8,000 odd steel plate. 
No, not the steel plates. What the? That's what? not the best place to dump it out. <laughs> it totally is. It's going to be clattering all over the hull. At least if you'd done it underneath, the gravity would have thrown it away from the ship. Yeah, but it was throwing me away from the point that I was accessing it from. It was really annoying. I'll show you who's really annoying. <laughs> this'll, this'll get rid of it nicely when we jump. It'll be fine. So we have a slight problem. Oh no, what have you done now? Well, our batteries are getting a bit low. Because of all the jumping. But the the shuttle has like a reactor. And yeah, we got a bunch but the, of uraniums. Yeah, 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 yeah. But most of the power going to the jump drives is coming from the batteries, not from the reactor. And our batteries are down to some of them are down to only 186 kilowatts, kilowatt hours. I'm sure it'll be enough for the two or three jumps we need to do. If you just wait, um, the jump drive will be finished charging in 42 seconds off just the reactor um, and we can see how far we can jump and then see how many jumps we've got left and have an idea of whether we've got enough power off where we're going to have to run off the reactor alone for a little bit but right now we are dead in the water as I've got the re the batteries on recharge right uh, wait do we have any ice uh, don't think we've got much no because we do have a have engines that's a Good point. We don't have any ice, but we do have quite a lot of fuel. Or do we? I don't know. The big hydrogen tanks are 96%. We could turn on the engine briefly. I've turned it on. Okay. Uh, you ready to jump? We've gotten an extra 100Ks out of this, out of this now. Uh, yep. And all that clattering stuff on the top of the ship will be gone. Yeah, we'll see about that. See? Clean. Perfect. <laughs> mm. 1,900 kilometers left to go. Yeah, two jumps. Is it worth checking some asteroids for ice? There's a few around, but nothing real close. Yeah. Fellow agents, you're flying into a trap. They've already spotted you. Meet me at the coordinates I've just sent. Uh... Is he talking to us? Uh, I think so? Uh, where's this GPS? Um, you're gonna have to read off the co coordinates for me. Uh, uh, okay. Yep, ready. Uh, would you like a copy of this thing? Uh, sure. There you go. Where's that? It's basically the same place. Well, even if it's quite far away, it would look like the same place yeah, from true. our vantage point. Do we trust that radio? Well, it looked like it was coming in on a friendly channel. True. And he called us agents, and I don't think anybody else knew that we were agents. I barely Didn't. knew we were agents. <laughs> I definitely barely knew it. Oh, uh, it's about 15 k's out from the... It's a bit further than the Exodus point, actually. Well... Alright, I'll reprogram the jump drive. We've got at least one more jump to think about it. Oh, how's your ammunition going? Uh, it's good. I think I'm good. Do you have any big, big bullets? Yeah, I do. I have... 16. What happens if I stick my finger in the barrel when you fire one of these? I think your finger disintegrates. Along with your arm and everything that's attached to your arm. I feel like the gun should probably disintegrate as well. Do you want to try? Hmm, maybe later. <laughs> yeah, the batteries are fully depleted in nine minutes. Oof. Yeah, we gotta leave them on recharge. I'm gonna have a nap. Wake me up when the drive's ready. Oh, okay. Hey, what the? Turn those lights off. I'm trying to nap over here. Sorry.
What the? <laughs> what the? What is that? <laughs> Why is there a thing on me? <laughs> I thought you'd want a sleep mask. Can't a man snooze in peace? What the? package? <laughs> yeah. What's in the package? I don't know. You took it from the uh, science station, I think. How do I open it? I don't know. I'm putting it in my locker for safekeeping. <sighs> oh, I guess if we're almost at our destination, I must be prepared. Mm hmm? In case things go horribly wrong, must be mm -hmm. equipped for whatever happens. Are oh, you equipping all your weapons and things? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, three minutes. Three minutes? I'm going out the wrong door again, but that's fine. This is interminable. I know, interminable. right? Interminable. I know! Wait, why did I get a warning saying ship fuel low? It says it's at 95. Low. Yeah, it gets really confused with uh, the reactor running and batteries charging. It also says life support might fail. Yeah, it's fine. 30 seconds, come back, take your seat. I am in a seat. Awaiting your approach, please deactivate your weapons. I'm disguised as a wrecker at the moment. Oh, um... Do you want to check about deactivating guns? Uh, I can deactivate my guns. Alright, better get inside, I guess. I don't really want to turn off your guns. Uh, because then you may not be able to turn them easily back on. I've got my guns on my hotbar. My guns are off, I think. Okay, so wrecker disguised agent. Jumping. We should be arriving right on top of him, or within a couple of kilometers. Here it goes. Do you see any wrecker around here? You're you're in the pilot seat, by the way. Uh, I see some asteroids. Looks like he's. Our waypoint is over near that asteroid. Alright, I guess we head towards that then. Oh, I see something in space over there. Oh, I see an enemy oh. target on a... Giovanni's Length L? Uh, he said he was disguised as a wrecker, so maybe that's him? This so feels like a trap. There's something in space over at the GPS. Do we head towards him or to the thing? Well, the GPS is closer, so I'm gonna head for that for starters. Okay. I'm gonna sit here being as ready as I can be to detach and fight. I can see something over. Can I see anything from the camera? Requesting permission to approach. So there's nothing at the GPS camera. Oh no, it's, it's further away. Uh, that's Please. little chunks of that asteroid that I think you're picking up. Oh, yeah, that could do it. Uh, permission uh, to approach. Well, you're the captain, camera, so. Granted. Or the admiral. Ship fuel. So I guess I'm the captain of this ship. Uh, I'm the grand admiral. Sure you are. I'm gonna detach. And I'm going to uh watch carefully. The thing over there looks like it's moving. It's right small on the edge of ship. weapon range. Yeah, he's very much inside my weapon range. He stopped. That's kind of suspicious. Yeah. I have my artillery I targeted at him. He said he was going to approach. Yeah.
Do you want to question him? Uh, I might drift over there. Sorry for the confusion. I've been spoofing these guys' comms for months. Oh. Careful, Capac. I might have something you want. Oh. Uh, this thing's pretty heavily armed. Yeah. It doesn't seem aggressive. Oh. It's got something weird attached on the back. It's not the thing we may want. Yeah. Looks like an evil robot. I don't even know if there's somebody inside it. Alright, I've definitely got my guns targeted on it because I've got the little laser spots. It's another prototype reactor that I managed to recover from the records. But we took the prototype reactor. How many How many prototypes were there? Didn't know. It's do. It looks interesting. Hmm. It's designed for those jump drives you found. Ah. Uh, maybe it needs this thing to function properly. Or at least to charge up more easily so we can chew through all our battery power. That would have been nice before we travelled 10,000 kilometres to him. Jerk couldn't deliver it to us. Make it easier. Um. Do we still have our little shuttle? A little shunter? Uh, no. Do you have an attachment point? That thing's just a connector, right? Yeah, we should be able to put it on the connector on the top. Uh, we just might have to wrestle it into place somehow. Wait, was the fighter the thing we were using as the shunter? shunter? Oh no, it was inside the satellite bit, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, if you attach something to the, if you give me some way to do it. I guess I could do it with the this. Uh, don't you have like a magnetic plate on the bottom? Yeah, do you think that's going to be easy for me to use? Yeah. Right. Should be alright. <laughs> you jerk. It's going to be really hard. No, I can fly it if you want. No. No, I'd rather the stress of me being the pilot than the stress of you being the pilot. Uh, do you want to ask him for me? Oh, he's ejected it. That's not what I was expecting. Battleship is going to pick it up with his foot. Okay, you got it. Alright. This way? Oh. What? Over here. Near these asteroids. Where? The big beige bone in space between two <laughs> asteroids. It's pretty hard lost, to miss. I just lost track of it. Oh, slow down. Jeez, coming very fast. Uh, uh, left. Uh, stop. Tiny bit right. Uh, we may need to take ownership of it. That excess point you've got is completely surrounded by a wreck of fleet. Going directly from here is your best shot. Okay. Huh. Uh, how clear is clear? You can imagine what fleet means. These guys aren't friendly. I've got an adapter technophage that's meant to target them. Rena set it up so it should work, but it might take a while. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. Well, that's why we get paid the big bucks. There you go. Get down, Kamak. Uh, Locked. And you are unlocked. I wonder what this button does. Reactor merge block. Toggle off. Probably don't want to do that. Ah! What the? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought I'd lined that up better. Thought you'd wiped out the whole ship for a second then. <laughs> <laughs> do you think we could sneaky sneak? <laughs> that might be best. I'll start heading in to try and deploy the virus. Then I'll call in our extraction. Uh, well, if we, like, pretend to be, like, one of them... Ow. Well, we fly to the thing and say, Hey, we, we've got orders to go through. Okay. Alright. Well. Uh. What you're the pilot. should we jump in at? Do you know any of their protocols? I'll leave that to you. They've stepped up security since they started pushing harder against the scavs. So we're gonna have to wing it. Alright. 
Um, what do you think's a good range to jump in at? Uh, we want to be able to jump out, or well, we probably won't jump out it, honestly, if we. Yeah, I think we've just got to head to this gate. Should we jump in at ten k's out? Uh, sure. We jump uh... in at ten k's. We head for the gate. And if we get challenged, we try to wing it. Okay. You got us lined? Yep. Alright. Uh, looks like our buddy is headed off. Are we jumping now? Uh... I'm so, I'm so uncertain. Where's he going to? It doesn't look like he's headed straight there. He did say he had the... advanced oh. tech... Oh! He's out of range. Well, he's got another jump drive. All right, I say we go for it. All right, I'm down. Uh, I'm turning my guns back on, by the way. Oh, yeah. I suggest you do the same. Though, if they start, if they believe us, we just got to be ready to turn our guns off quickly. I mean, it seems pretty chill. We are still 10k's out. You wanna... Do we do oh. we head in from here? No. Um, capac. Oh yeah, that's a that's a few targets. Oh, come um, on. we're just on the outskirts of this. Okay, uh, I'm gonna burn for the gate. Just be ready to detach. weren't, weren't you gonna try and communicate with them and convince them that we're supposed to be here? No, I figure we go and then if we oh, transmitting reconnect of agent three. Two, one. Um, not seeing anything happen to them. Uh, it's alright. What? Oh, there's a twisted snake quite close. Yeah. We got movement. They know we're here. Uh, should I send a message? Yeah, yeah. Send a message. Uh, hey, we've. Got orders to head out of the system. We've taken a bit of damage from those pesky agents there. Oh, a Yormunganda command ship. That doesn't sound good. No. Approach slowly. Oh. Okay, come back. All right, right. slowing Just down. Yep. Uh, do we approach the command ship? Oh, I say we keep heading for the gate. Okay. At least they seem to be buying the story. Yeah, or waiting for us to get right in the middle of all of their ships so they that we're completely surrounded. I, mean, I think we're already in the middle. Yeah. Oh, that command ship's a bit uncomfortably close though. Actually, get a close view at any of them. Well, we're two kilometers out from the thing. Wasn't this just a location? Like, or is this. Oh, wait, is the robot gonna do something here? I hope so. Because <laughs> I don't see anything in front of us. It's just empty space. Because we got all the bits of the thing. So, this. The Exodus point should be a, a the point that we can safely jump out of the system. Right. So, oh. okay, so that makes sense, because then the robot should be able to do the calculations to enable that to be a safe transition for us using the jump drives. Uh, I hope so. There we go. Alright, slowing down a bit more. I'm just hoping the robot can calculate it with all this extra mass attached. I presume it was designed with the shuttle in mind. Well, I mean, if worst comes to worst, I guess we could ditch the other ships and get onto the shuttle. Yeah, I mean, that that was our objective, to get the tech. If we get out with the shuttle, we've we've done our mission. Well, we're pretty much right on the point here. Uh, the robot seems to be doing some of the calculations now. Well, yeah. wonder how long we have to stay here. It took forever to do the calculations to find the exodus point in the first place. I can't imagine this is simpler. Ah, I'm trying to be fine. Why are we coasting? Alright. 
full stop. Yep. Oh, we've got a fireworm on approach. That's not one of our ships. Uh oh. Okay. Um. All right, I'm turning on my guns. Uh, all right. Shall I intercept? Uh. Oh boy. We got a couple coming in from different directions. I'm approaching the fireworm. Whoa! What the? What happened? They, they just shot at me. Oh! Okay. Oh! Turn the shuttle away. Right, I'm trying to follow you, and I'm trying to keep the shuttle out of their fire. Yep. Oh, I'm taking a few hits. Oh, so have I. Help. My turrets are struggling to find targets. Just keep the shuttle protected. Coming in for a run on that ship. Something about the, the, the Hector. I think oh. that's a friendly. That is. Just missed. Uh, Where are you? Hector, please advise. Exit. Strategy. I'm headed for the Hector. Ooh. Okay, yep. Same. I'll try and protect. I may have spelled strategy very badly. I'm sure it'll be understood. Oh. Whoa! Oh, that didn't sound good. No! I just took a hit. I took a big hit. Oh boy. Are you okay? I'm okay, but the Hector says to approach for docking and I can't even see where they are. They're just to your port. I think. I can't tell which way around you are. No, they're directly behind you. Eh? I don't know which direction you're facing, but you I feel like you're going away from it. Whoa. No, I keep locking you, not the ship I'm trying to lock. Oh, I just saw you. Yep. And I presume that's the Hector. I'm going Yeah, in. the white ship is the Hector. Oh, score to hit! Oh, the Hector just brutalized that ship. That's not good. Jeez. Uh. Approach yeah. for docking. Uh, I think we may need to dock the shuttle onto the Hector. Okay. I think I may be best off providing you some distraction while you do that. Alright. Oh, this thing's all damaged. Oh, the door is busted. Just, just get out of here. My, my ship's too badly damaged. Oh, I'll stay behind and shut down the tip of the page. No. Geo. If I have to jetpack across, I'll jetpack across. But you just get the shuttle on board. Alright, the shuttle's still mostly intact. Ow! No! Oh, jeez. I don't want to be this much of a hero. Uh. Wait, is that the right? 
Yep. Oh, a lot is wrong with my ship. A lot is wrong with my ship. Oh, uh, something's wrong with my ship. Uh, I've got no. Why have I got no? Then you aren't. You're be on stockpile, and your batteries may be on ah, recharge. There we go. Wish artillery would reload faster. Oh yeah, this ship's down. Paint works. All right, I'm attached to the Hector. Okay. Whoa! Prepare for jump. Don't leave me. Where are you? Oh, oh, oh. oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh no, the poor dust ball. Where, where are you even? Is that you? Approaching from either above or below, I'm guessing. Uh, I've got an ally at 1.77, but it doesn't seem to be getting closer. Oh, I'm definitely getting closer. One point five out. Where's the entry? Is it near uh, the dust ball? Yeah, there's a there's an airlock near the uh, yeah near the dust ball. Where the shut where I've docked the shuttle. Yep. Oh boy. No, I'm a dust storm. Come on, split see move your caboose. Yep. 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 Uh, give me an entry. Get in the shuttle. Okay, okay, okay. I'm in. I'm seated. Go, go, go. Well, said to say goodbye, but the dust ball got pretty wrecked in that fight. Poor. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Does that mean we're safe? I guess so. We go on board. Well, I'm I have gonna. a shower. I want a shower. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed our scavenger hunt. I'm incredibly grateful to Aizen for writing and game mastering this amazing scenario. TFE for creating the NPC mods and playing so many bad guys, and also for letting his aim be worse than it was during Wrong Way Up. Thanks also to the efforts of the behind the scenes modders Mr. Simplex and Gruzob. Also thank you so much Gruzob and Sy for adding your voices to the finale. Thank you to everyone who took part in the series as extra NPCs when we needed them, particularly for making that Sand River attack so incredibly special. That was genuinely one of the coolest experiences I've had in Space Engineers. And of course, finally, thank you Kapak for being such a great companion to experience these journeys with. I can't wait till the next one. And as always, there's plenty more to come, and I'll see you then.